Hi, my name's Barry Belcher, and I'm a decorative artist, entertainer, and kind of a cook. I actually have this um, online uh, show that I put on YouTube that I started about four years ago, and I have a cooking show, I, uh, I, I design and decorate, and I kind of have a knack for creating things that, you know, I typically find around the house, or if I've had it before, I can mix it if I'm cooking. So I've put a few clips together that I'd like you to see. So I hope you enjoy and maybe get inspired to uh, be a dumpster diver too. I'm gonna be painting and creating a wine cellar right here in my very own basement. Kathy and I have this really, really cool space downstairs in the basement that's not really even used. It even has this really great stone wall that's part of the foundation. So I'm using that as my muse of an old stone, old world style winery. <laughs> Okay, so I'm about to paint some playing cards on the dining room wall here. Just to kind of give that feel as a bachelor pad. It's going to be kind of cool. So come with me and I'll show you how to do it. Vine wreaths with the muscadine vines that grow in their backyard. Split our circle. We just created a beautiful wreath, absolutely free. I didn't pay one dime for this, other than the ribbon that was bought probably three years ago. But all this stuff I found in the backyard. I made something out of Green nothing. beads to, again, tie in the color theme here. So just something like this really dressed up the chandelier. And I hung these other little green beads on the the little hooks here. Uh, I actually found Christmas ornament hooks and wired the beads to where they don't fall out and just hook it around the hook. Okay, so basically just get you a little pencil and take the tip of the can strip, like a little burst, and just wrap it around the pencil. Now remember, be careful because it can cut you. But my skin's like leather now, so I don't think it really matters. With a crystal knob. But I spray painted the entire thing with gold paint, and then after that dried, we put, well, well actually, put some, just put some black paint on it, on the edges, and wipe it off. And voila, you have a beautiful piece of furniture that costs $35. So here is an interesting wreath that you can make right straight from your home. Um, if you have some old books that are falling apart, those are the best because the paper is already aged. It's got that yellowed look. Um, roll those like this. Roll the, uh, these, uh, roll them up just like that. Then I just found some holiday Christmas ribbon. Okay, so I just finished making a Christmas ornament. Um, and I've actually made the uh, toilet paper ring, the comb that's inside of it. When I made a really paper. interesting ornament, and look how beautiful it looks in my Christmas tree. Who would have thought that that came from my bathroom? From...
Well, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Well, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs> oh. See, that's how good I am. <laughs>